Welcome to the gray area. The gray area media. We've obligated ourselves to be the voice for all communities speaking on topics that include community, religion, education, politics, technology, sports, health, and wellness. The Gray Area Media is a platform created by longtime friends for the sole purpose of providing our communities with the ability to voice current, past, and modern day issues. The Gray Area and its naming significance solely speaks to the area in which people shy away from speaking because of media-based constraints or contractual-based obligations. Well, I'm here to tell you, we don't do that here. So please, stay tuned in. We're going to go live in a few minutes. Don't forget, please add us as a friend on Facebook so that you can follow our live feed. And not only that, please add us on Twitter and Instagram at The Gray Area Media. Please visit our website at www.thegrayareamedialive.com. Thank you. Hello, viewers. We are live right now, and this is the gray area, and we are on Facebook with a very special guest today. This is your boy, Ray E. This is your boy, P. Wills. What's happening? And this is Ebony. <laughs> Ebony in the building. And uh, Demetrius has been with us uh, before on another episode. Uh, I think we were talking about business and community. Yeah. And you came on last time. Demetrius Bruno, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thank did, you. Did I say your name right? Good to have Demetrius. you back. That is correct. You probably get Demetrius, Demetrius. Anything around it, I'll answer. Demetria. <laughs> yeah, you get that first syllable right, I'm, I'm okay, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then our man, Larry Williams, Jr., the president of the Indy Black Chamber of Commerce. How you doing? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man, for coming, man. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And uh, Demetrius, you are also a board member. I am, indeed. Of uh, IBCC. Proud. <laughs> so, uh... Let's start with uh, what the uh, Indy Black Chamber of Commerce is. There's a lot of people who are probably seeing this for the first time, mm -hmm. the name, and want to know exactly what it is and what you guys do. So Indy um, Black Chamber of Commerce, uh, what we do is we help black businesses grow. We help um, black businesses understand what's coming down the pipeline in Indianapolis, truthfully Indiana, period. And we try to make sure that we get people contracts um, because black businesses are dying. Mm -hmm. and, and so the state did a disparity study on minority businesses. And all the minority businesses were doing great mm -hmm. except the black businesses. Wow. They, were, they were all in the red, wow. all of them. Um, and so they said that uh, we don't understand why black businesses is in the red. Okay. Uh, number one, they don't have an advocate. And that's where the black chamber comes that's in. That's a good point. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I mean. So, why do you think the black businesses are dying? Like I said, number one, they don't they don't have an advocate. Mm -hmm. Number two, gotcha. we all are starting a business. There is no, there are some, but mm -hmm. there's mostly no second generation, third generation, fourth generation good businesses. Point. Okay. That's a good point. Because with with white companies, you know, you got the second, the third generation inherited, right. inherited yeah. and they right. know how to do it. Right. When we start a business, we start it from scratch, mm -hmm. usually. Yeah. We start yeah. from scratch. Little knowledge. We, little knowledge. We have no idea. All we know is we want to sell T-shirts. Mm -hmm. So we rent out a, a building, and we start selling T-shirts. But, but there's so much to it. If you're not with the Secretary of State, you're not considered a legal business. Mm -hmm. The other thing is there's a sales tax to it. Do you right. know the sales tax that goes with mm -hmm. T-shirts right. versus food? You know, right. it's right. different. Because it's too re retail tax and, yeah, yeah. Retail and, food. and uh, food tax. Yeah, and so then right. if you're selling food, you know you have to have a license. Mm -hmm. um, the health department has to come in and give you a certification. But mm -hmm. some of us don't know that. We just start selling food. So, right. mm -hmm. so, again, that's the reason for the chamber. If you want to uh, know what to do to start a business, that's what we're here for, to do the research, to do the connections, to give you the resources that you need to uh, be successful. Man, that's awesome. I mean, and, and it's needed more than ever because oftentimes, like, uh, I see a lot of black folks that have skill sets. 
I mean, major right. skill sets yeah. that if it was done properly and organized properly, they could go really, really far. I also see uh, a lot of people that just start something and they've been doing it for like five, ten years. And they're, mm -hmm. they, like you said, they're, they're not with the Secretary of State. Right. Um, they don't have anything established. They don't have the trademarks together. Um, so many different things that will disc like if somebody could come along, you have something great. And they could come along because you're not established. They could take your name and your brand, right. yeah. you know, and then run with it. And legally, you can't do nothing about it. Right. So can you talk Can you talk to uh, those things on some of the things that people should be prepared for in, when they're starting a business, you know, or to even start a business? Because some people don't even know where to start. So there's three people you need when you start a business. Number one, you need an insurance guy mm -hmm. because you need to cover your business, and that's – Number one. Mm. Number two, you need a CPA. You need somebody who can do your financials. And number three, you need a lawyer mm -hmm. to make sure your contracts are. Right. So those are the three people, uh, business one on one, that you need. Mm. Wow. What if uh, people, uh, you know, start off with business, but they don't have the resources or the capital to get those three? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so that's the reason why you come to the chamber. Okay. Right. Uh, we we help you um, connect to these people that will work with you. Mm -hmm to make sure that you have what you need. Okay. Yeah, the support factor is was major for me anyway because you want to assemble yourself with mm -hmm. a group uh -huh. that's all like-minded. So at this point, everyone at the chamber has said, okay, we're going to assemble ourselves and we're going to, you know, patronize each other's businesses. Mm, uh, I think that's, that's a key factor in, involved mm -hmm. that sold me on becoming a member, not only mm. just a board member, but a member. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Um, just to kind of point to one another, kind of that alliance, not being anti anything, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's cool mm -hmm. to be pro something mm -hmm. right. just to make sure that, uh, you know, what, what we're offering as a unit is solid. Mm -hmm. So that's how, primarily the how, reason. How many people are a part of, of IBCC? And just talk about how effective it is. I think, you know, especially with our people, we if we don't get no details, if we don't, I mean, we could say what is good all day long, yeah. but if right. we don't get no details and statistics, you know, a lot of people who are in business want to know, you know, like, um, you know, if I'm a small business and I know that there's certain things I don't know, I don't know that I could come to, you know, to mm. come to you guys, sure. you know, as an organization um, I may not even, you know, I'm not even going to lie to you. The first time I heard of y'all was when she told me, mm -hmm. you know, when she mentioned it. So, yeah. you know, is there a, uh, is there something that where you guys are going to do a mega push on trying to be, uh, involved more with letting people know and getting, getting yeah. out there? Yeah. Because I feel like, um, mm -hmm. there's organizations that are mega like IB, IBE mm -hmm. and they don't necessarily, I mean, like they do some great things, but <clears throat> Then again, it, you still left like, well, what do I do, you know, as a business owner? You know, who, who can I connect with? Well, yeah. you guys have the Black Business Summit coming up, too. Yes. Uh, so that's one of our main pushes. I mean, oh, yeah. being on the gray area. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm Absolutely. getting my Thank name you. out, Thank you, you know, doing that. Thank so, you. Absolutely. Um, the, the Black Business Summit, we have uh, Dr. Hampton um, is going to be our keynote speaker. He's the deputy mayor. For sure. Um, we have, uh, uh, who's singing? Oh, we got uh, some great entertainment. We got uh, Black Rose, uh, which is a part of Band Geek, okay. is due to perform, and also the saxophonist, uh, young saxophonist. Uh, I've been hearing Ryan about Thompson. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he fresh. Some great, great entertainment okay. lined up. And this is an event that's going on. Yes, it'll be uh, September 30th and October 1st at the fairgrounds. Nice. Yeah. And so we we have workshops there. We have uh, someone uh, teaching bonding. We have somebody ta uh, talking about networking mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody just talking about business one-on-one -on -one. um nice. there, you know we have uh workshops we, yeah. we have some comedians there yeah uh, angel starks wow. uh will yeah. be there harold hardy will be there so okay. it's not just workshops there's also going to be some uh comedy there right. you know there's some Fine. bands there yeah. that's a good twist yeah, yeah you yeah. know so it's not like, just stiff and yeah. you know that's yeah. that's good yeah. that's that's all right. awesome. we got See, some that's great business entrepreneurial thinking right there right yeah. so i mean for me uh we we are out there it's we post all the time on mm -hmm. monthly meetings uh i've like grown like leaps and bounds just from going to those uh final 
mm-hmm. uh, Friday meetings, mm-hmm. uh, which is held over at, uh, at, at this point, it's at Country Kitchen. Mm. Okay. So we're there over there. They're bringing Good food. All Shout out to Country Kitchen. <laughs> right. right. Absolutely. We're bringing the Bob Ossoles. We're bringing the, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> the state officials that, uh-huh. that's there to tell you where this money is. So mm-hmm. I've seen it, and this man is at the table, you know, with these people that are uh, making these decisions mm-hmm. that, right. you know, we're, we're, we're funneling money over here uh-huh. uh, to improve this area or that area. So Absolutely. he brings that back to us, and we're like, okay, that's where the money is. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. That's where we need right. to be focused. So I have seen, uh, uh, you know, I know Lauren M has taken advantage of grants, and I'm lining up for a couple yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. um, mm-hmm. as well. So you have to be, like, where they are in mm-hmm. order to know. And uh, with us having a voice uh, of this magnitude, he's able to go and sit with these state mm-hmm. officials and, you know, bring that information that's back awesome. that where the contracts are and, mm. and, and mm. that's making a difference to the people that are in the circle so right. far. Yeah. So, the Friday group? Yeah. It's okay. the, wow. the final Friday. So if there's a fifth okay. Friday, it'll be that fifth Friday. Fine. Okay. Right. Nice. It's no, and it's that country kitchen. And it's open to the public? Come, come, come. What time? What? Um, it starts at... 11, it's 11 to 1. 11 to 1. Okay. And uh, last Friday, we had Indigo come. Uh, mm-hmm. Indigo, okay. they're doing uh, sure. the red line coming down college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they told us how we can bid on this job to okay. make sure that mm-hmm. we get uh, black businesses on building the red line. Absolutely. Because it's coming through our uh, people anyway. Right. So right. we want to be involved in that. Uh, the month before that, we brought in the Justice Center. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're talking about how to get contracts on the Justice Center, we're mm-hmm. talking about $380 million, you know wow. what I'm saying? Right. So we want to make sure that black people are involved in that. For mm-hmm. sure. Um, not just construction, though, but, you know, mental health, uh, uh, transportation. So, I mean, it's it's more to it than just construction. We yeah. are trying to make sure that our people are getting a part of this contract. For so sure. Being looked over. And there's a couple of things that I have become stagnant in that, you know, just being there around mm-hmm. them. I'm like, okay, I need to mm-hmm. register as a minority business. I was going to ask right. you guys about that. Me being a double minority, mm-hmm. why wouldn't I? Uh, so right, just, right. A lot of things that Talk more about, yeah. let's expand on that more because I think that it's simply, we're ignorant to a lot of things. Yeah. And, and a lot of it, we're, we're also like, we think everything is a scam. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, so, so we have to get out of that and we have to be more open and transparent about what things are because yeah. people simply will not be a part of it because so many people are coming at and we're the we're like the uh we're the test pigs mm-hmm. when it comes to dummies. right when it comes to people trying to scam or or mm-hmm. get us to do stuff because we're the first ones on the on the line mm-hmm. to try stuff you know what I'm yeah. saying? It, you know, so now we've become desensitized to what's good for us when it comes to business. And, and so so talk more That's about true. the minority business deal and, and why why it's important to be a part of IBCC. Mm-hmm. You know, what what are the benefits? So who, who doesn't want to do business with the state? You, you can't right, right, right. talk to them. That's the bonus. You're, you're able to do business yeah. with the state. I mean, that for me, there's a couple of things that I was thinking about, you know, having a transportation business. Whereas we can have our clients who are still up underneath my same umbrella. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, just being able to do the med runs and, you know, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can't talk to them unless you're re- registered. Right. Wow. Right, right. They're not so, even going to consider you. Right. So, so being registered with IBCC, you're able to connect with government officials and government programs. All the time. So... So you had to get certified, okay. and you had to be certified with the city and the mm-hmm. state. And and being the advocate, we can hold the city and the state accountable because we make we pay tax gotcha. dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, makes sense. so yeah. you have to give that that money back into our black community. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you don't, we're paying tax dollars. So that's the thing about the uh, black chamber. We can okay. hold them accountable. Okay. Gotcha. Say, that's hold it. on. You spending you you sent fifty million towards this project. Right. How many black people were on it? Right. You know, okay. not, not just minorities. How many black people were on it? Right. And, that, and that's my job. Okay. How many black okay. people was okay. on this job? Okay. And, okay. And, that's, and that's what I do. That's what right. the advocacy that's comes awesome. in. Yeah. Right. right. And you're right. talking about the minority and women-owned business enterprise certification. Correct. Yeah. yeah, so we have Maybe. connections there where if you if you need help, I mean, it's, it's a free service to get mm-hmm. certified. Yes, it's it free. Is. But it's like seven pages. It you is, know, it's yeah. kind of long. Uh-huh. But 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 we're here to help you get that done. And then once you get it done, we have connections in those uh, offices that we can call. Mm-hmm. We can send you down. We can mm-hmm. get you kind of 
right. um, certified, you know, if you need it immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say you get a contract with the Indigo and they say, look, we can't do any work with you till you get certified. We can hurry up oh, that nice. process oh, that's because amazing. we got yeah, connections yeah. in there and make sure that that, that's that gets big. done. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the, that's the stuff that people are looking for yes. right there because yeah. – because, like I said, we've been introduced to so many different programs mm-hmm. and things, and then yeah. when you when they when they when they get you there, they don't tell you how to use the program, yeah. right. you know, or tell you what what the program is for. It's almost like, uh, you know, we have to do a little bit bigger, uh, deeper research uh-huh. mm-hmm. before we can even come to you because we got to make sure we got our stuff together. But you're saying, look, don't worry about that. Come to us. Come back. a member, and uh, we'll help you figure it out together. And and that's the difference uh, because there's a lot of like the Latin community, the Asian community, they all have advocates. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and it's structured, strong, and it's supported, solid. and yeah. it's solid, and and, and they, they get have they way get more stuff done. Than we have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we have to be the same way. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it and comes it's to not business. Hard. And with this money, I mean, we're talking multi-million dollars that you can partake in simply because you're African-American. Mm. But they're not going to tell you if you're not <laughs> right. there to right. ask for it Absolutely. or if you don't know about it. Yeah. It's not like like scholarships. Gonna... Yeah, a lot of people don't know about scholarships. You know, it's yeah. so much money out there in regards to it is. getting it is. educated it is. In, in business or whatnot. My brother is a um, Marine veteran. Mm-hmm. And he contacts me all the time uh, about how he can get his business going and stuff. So I got him set up with the Secretary of State mm-hmm. and all that. But as a veteran, he has access to oh, yeah, multitudes a lot of, of loans a lot of and great, things yeah. that he knew nothing about. So, you know, he's he's getting on that now. But it's just those <coughs> kind of things. Like, we sift mm-hmm. through life 10, 20 years right. and then find out, oh, man, this this, this program been sitting here waiting for me yeah, waiting 30 for years. You. Yeah. you know, so we're we doing everything the, the, the long way. How to get more when we can take a, We can take a mm-hmm. shortcut and give yeah. it an advocate, right. you know, like the IBCC get with like-minded individuals and they help you uh, succeed and get what you need. Do you guys, round uh, table, like, yeah. Do you guys remember the Small Business Administration? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they still around? I think they are. They are. SBA. Yeah. yeah. SBA still around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's it. You guys remind because I actually went to SBA. No shade or whatever to mm-hmm. SBA, but I remember actually going to them and mm-hmm. getting. That, you know, they helped me out a little bit with the paperwork, Mm -hmm. but that advocacy piece, that follow through is what's missing. And I know that's not a part of all the details that they are even responsible for doing. So it kind of reminds, it reminds me of that, but that extra, because as a business owner, it can be so discouraging Mm -hmm. when, okay, I have my paperwork, I've done all this, my business has started, now what? Now what? Mm -hmm. Right. 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 So we're, you guys are the now what? You have the, the, the beginning now and what? the now yeah. what? Right. Yeah. 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 So we're constantly putting on workshops. You go to the website, there's a list of our, you know, uh, training components or, mm. and, and things of that nature. So just go on the site if you're interested in right. bringing any of your concept, thoughts, or dreams. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and the website is org. Dot org. Nice. And 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 I noticed that it says Indy Black Chamber of Commerce. Is that central Indiana? How far does that reach? So so let me give you just a, a okay. little history. Um, okay. So I, I own a security company and okay. I had it for a while and I joined the Indy Chamber. Okay. Um let's let's say white chamber. So right. we joined the Indy Chamber and the Indy Chamber, um, I got a lot of business out there. Okay. But let's say um Uncle John does plumbing, and he's very good at plumbing. Okay. But he's not good at talking to a room full of 200 people right. that, that are not black, and they're not trying to talk to him. Right. So mm. me and him are talking, and, and I'm moving through the room, but he's not. He's just standing there because no one's talking to him, and gotcha. he can't talk to someone else. Okay. So right there, it was like, we need a black chamber Absolutely. where we can work together and build off of that. Absolutely. And so what I did in 2013, I sat on the board of Anderson Chamber. Okay. The Anderson has a black chamber, and it's been around 10 years. Okay. So I sat on their board for two years to understand what a chamber is, mm-hmm. what a chamber does, right. and, and the foundation, so I know what I'm doing. So I did it for two years. I went awesome. to Anderson at, twice a month for two years. Right. And so then they helped me start the Indy Chamber uh, in 2015. Okay. Uh, so there used to be a, a Indianapolis Black Chamber, but it defunct in 2008 oh, okay. from lack of funding and lack mm-hmm. of support. Mm-hmm. And so it just died. But I said, right. look, we need this. This needs to be <laughs> Absolutely. Here. So, uh, again, Anderson helped me in 2015. We mm-hmm. kicked off. Um, 
and here we are now. We have 70 members. Right. Uh, we have huge companies that um, are are with us. Huge black companies, one of the Absolutely. major black companies here in Indi Indianapolis. But uh, we have Gary and Evansville come down nice. when they have issues and like, hey, yeah. look, we're having issues up there. Can you help us? So I can call the mayor and say, hey, look, what's going on? You right. Know, how, you know, they may not have a, a chamber, so w this is something that we do, and we advocate throughout the whole state. We say Indy because mm -hmm. um, if you type in Indianapolis, you'll get the old chamber. Gotcha. So that's the reason why it's called Indy. Gotcha. But, but we still, we, we help the whole state, but our focus is Indianapolis because it's the big city. Right. But, yeah. I mean, so everything comes from here, like the state legislators, the, mm -hmm. right. you know, the city count, everybody comes mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So I can, I have access to the governor, to the, okay. uh, you know, state reps, so I can advocate for other Absolutely. people through that. Well, wow, are there any particular businesses that y'all would like to see us as a people have more, you know, in our communities? Yeah, That's what are the question. powerhouse businesses or what kind of businesses should we – because I'm one of those people, right? Like, I have I have decent credit. I, I want to go into business, but it's so – everything is so saturated. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get in and, and, and have to work harder than I need to, you know. And also, I want to do something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. So if somebody said, hey, you know, you do this – this market would be something that you could go into. Are you guys doing stuff like that? And like, you know, to bounce off of his question, what are some of those businesses that are really yeah uh, that they should be you know investing in that people can invest in that that will succeed? Well, some of them are um, kind of expensive to get in that, yeah. that okay. where they need us. Like they don't have any concrete uh, people mm -hmm. that okay. are black. They don't yeah. have any um, asphalt. Okay. You know, they we have trucks, mm -hmm. you know, dump trucks, but we don't have anybody who lays asphalt. We don't have anybody okay. who who does concrete, like focuses on on bigger jobs. Right. So, um, and construction, you know, it can be up and down, but that's that's mm -hmm. to be honest, where the money is. For sure. It is. And it, yeah. Well, any, always building something. Yeah. Yeah. Or any, uh, you know, any maintenance. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or or type yeah. of. Uh, um, skill you know, trade. skill trade, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. plumbing, welding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those things are needed, but you have to focus on plumbing. Right. right? Yeah, I right. can't be plumbing, uh, uh, yeah. welding, all that. It's, it's too yeah. much. Yeah, just you have to do plumbing and concrete service. What you are you skilled at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. the city hates that. They hate right. when somebody says they it's do not all clear. this. It's not clear. Right. They were like, oh, no, you're doing you too much. Doing you you can't be that. doing all that. Right, right. I mean, I'm not saying that we can't. Because right. I think we can, right. but when you deal on a business, bigger scale. State level, government. That's what they're looking mm -hmm. for, Absolutely. just to be honest. It needs to be more wow. concentrated. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's important. It that is. helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, um, because a lot of people have a hard time investing in their career or future or whatever, you know, what they call they're trying to go into business, but mm -hmm. they have a problem paying stuff, you know, like it's a problem for me to. Uh, go get pay the test secretary of state. Why well, I got to pay secretary of state when I can just keep making money over here? You know what I'm saying? They don't understand that that's, that's next level. You know what I'm saying? Right. To spend that eighty to hundred dollars, get certified. You know what I'm saying? Get the trademark. All that's important. That's so the thing we're satisfied with that little money. You know, right. Big money. You got to do big money things. You Absolutely. You got to have your licenses. You got to yep. have, you know, the things that you need. It's right. Like if you're going for big fish, you got to right. have big fish bait you know right. what i mean right so you just have to have these things in place and if you have the vision i'm not saying to have but we just get complacent with small yeah. businesses yeah. when mm -hmm. right you have the right to do bigger business because mm -hmm. you're a minority right. and they owe us for limiting our capability by of, being cheap <laughs> Yeah. Limiting, <laughs> limiting your capabilities by being cheap thank yeah. you very much you know what i'm saying spend a little extra money Finish. You know, I mean, and, and we have to be, Give we have to stop, worm. we have to stop wanting deals. <laughs> yeah. Everybody oh, want a deal. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? Know, yeah, I mean, you know, even when we have our own businesses, right? I mean, why do y'all think that we don't support our own businesses? Well, I mean, look, when, when you go to McDonald's and they leave your fries out, you go back to the same McDonald's Absolutely. the next day. Absolutely. You know, but if a, if a black company leaves out some fries when you went to their mm -hmm. shop, you, you're not, you're, you're going to talk bad about them. You're going to mm -hmm. talk bad about them on Facebook. You're going to yeah. tear them down. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to mess up other people's. Right. Uh, right. Absolutely. Like, Interest in going there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're like, yeah. oh, well, you know, the, we knew mm -hmm. that uh, he wasn't no good anyway. You know, right. so, I mean, why? Right. I mean, here we are. We're talking about a, a organization that helps black businesses. Absolutely. So how come we don't have more, 
so we, we have 70 members, but how come we talking wow. about five, you know, 2,000 or 5,000 people out there. Right. How come everybody's not a member to help Absolutely. grow, you know, Absolutely. because we don't support each other. Right. You know, they support each other in Chicago, in Atlanta, mm-hmm. yeah. Houston, they doing great. Mm-hmm. But in Indiana, we, we have a different mindset. Right. And so it, it's a, it's it's a way that dependent. we have to, yeah. yeah. And so we have to we we have to deal with them where they are right. and change people's mindsets. Right. Because why am I going to join the chamber? I'm I'm good with what I'm doing. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But understand if you focus and and if we have more members, we have a stronger voice. Right. There's more people will listen when I walk in a room mm-hmm. and say, "Look, I got two thousand members. Mm-hmm. If you don't do this, this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Right. We're going to shut some stuff down. Right. And then they're like, "Oh." You, right. You're right. You got a conglomerate of businesses yeah. that going to shut they these, shut, you know, yeah, or, yeah. yeah okay. You yeah, that's saying? a big deal. So, <laughs> so what I'm telling like people is, the army. yeah, right. you got an army behind. We don't get behind anything. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's my issue with, with us as right. black people. If we can get behind an organization Absolutely. that is grassroots, that's trying to make sure things happen mm-hmm. right. for us, yes. then we can, we can go a lot. Absolutely. But, well, I agree. You know, and you touched on the uh, the uh, tax dollars. Um, is it tough or is it tougher for a black business to be sustainable, you know, in the hood or, you know, the inner city when if there's a majority of, of people that aren't working, you know, they're, you know, they're dependent on, like, you know, government, you know, assistance. Yeah. So, so how can a black business sustain in that type of environment? So, That's a good question. So when I went to the mayor, this is what I told him. Uh-huh. I said, if you support the black chamber, mm-hmm. we support black businesses. Mm-hmm. If if we support black businesses, they hire black people. Right. They hire felons. Right. And so now crime is going down mm-hmm. because all anyone's looking for is a job. That's right. It's it's a, not just a regular job. They're looking for a sustainable to living wage job. Mm-hmm. Right. And and if we can get them jobs, then now we teach them to buy houses because we, mm. we have got um, connections with Main Source Bank, uh, Lake City Bank, yep. uh, okay. Salem yep. Bank to make sure we get people nice. uh, housing. Mm-hmm. So now they got a livable wage, they're buying houses, mm-hmm. and now they since they're buying houses, the community is growing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because they're not renting, they're, they're owning this. Right. Right. And see, we can't own anything until we own our businesses first. Right. And so... That's the whole point of the black chamber. We say black businesses, mm-hmm. but it's black people in general. It's our right. black community yeah. right. that we're helping all right. the way through. Hmm. And Absolutely. and we've also put on um, job fairs. Mm-hmm. We've, we've okay. partnered with yeah. the Indiana Construction Roundtable, mm. uh, MLK Center, and Youth Build. And mm-hmm. we, we've gotten over 130 people jobs uh, nice. making at least 1750 an hour. Wow. So that, that's wow. another He's thing that we're, we're focused on. Yeah, so we're... We're trying to make sure that our black community grows, and, that, right. and that's what the change yeah. is about. So, for us, being, you know, for us black people, mm-hmm. should we go the non-profit route or the for-profit route? I mean, I know that question is probably broad. No. Yeah. Mm. It's the no. same thing. It's just one. I mean, they ran the same. I same yeah. way. I've had a for-profit mm. business. I have a non-profit so, business, and fundamentally, they're the same. Okay. One's just a tax. Credit, I mean, a, you know, non-profit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they have wages. They have, you know, same type of setup. So so I would suggest to go for a profit. Okay. And and this is why. We don't own corporations. Mm-hmm. We don't own Good point. Uh, anything that would support a non-profit. See, white, white people can do non-profits. I mean, we are a 511c3. We're okay. a non-profit, the, the chamber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when I go to Lily and say, hey, I need some money support mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. for this black chamber. Right. They like, look, that's not our mission. So mm. we we can't give you money. Hmm. But if I say, if I go to Lily and say, hey, I'm I'm helping three legged dogs, they're mm. like, oh, here go a million dollars. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because we can support that because right. mm. we that's us. We, right. we 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 that's our mission. We we want to help dogs. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as a as a black nonprofit, where are you getting money from? You gotta have a sponsor. Right. And who's sponsoring you? Because right. We we don't own corporations. I mean, we barely own our own businesses enough to to make profit. So, right. I would not suggest uh, nonprofit unless you have a sponsor. You have someone who is right. going to make sure that your uh, nonprofit uh, focuses. Mm. I su- I say go for profit, yeah. make this money, 
and and do it that way. This yeah. just depends on your industry, though, and, and what you're um, doing with a nonprofit. If you're a service industry, um, in regards to community service, mm -hmm. because um, like being a, a for profit, you know, for doing community service is a little bit more difficult because you can't, you know, it's kind of hard to get those grants. <clears throat> so when you say um, be a for profit business, you're referring to doing the contract work. Things like that, or just in general. Just in general. I mean, mm -hmm. even even with nonprofits, you mm -hmm. you do a service, so you sell the service. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're you're a speaker, you know, you you sell your time to go speak at places. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're teaching people how to dance, you 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 charge people mm -hmm. to teach them how to dance. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it if you're helping with the community. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you still charge for what you what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. like I said, but I mean, unless you have a grant, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you you have um, a organization that is sponsoring you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then yeah, you can go nonprofit. But if you're just coming off the street <laughs> and you're saying, "I'm gonna start a nonprofit and this is where I'm going," mm -hmm. I'm not suggesting that. Okay, right. What I did was, for me, I, when I went into nonprofit, I said, "Okay, I'm gonna take the biggest nonprofit and I'm gonna act like them." Mm -hmm. So the bigger mm -hmm. nonprofits, they have a for-profit platform. Okay. Goodwill, they take your clothes, yeah. your estate, they can take your house, yeah. your car, That's very they sell it and they put it in a program. Okay. So they have, you know, the the you know, normally they have a for profit element that's supposed to feed the services. Right. Yeah. Ha that's Habitat what I've for done. Humanity has same thing. Yeah. Habitat for humanity has one too. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I mean uh <laughs> you got Habitat for Humanity, Goodwill, um well, that, uh, United Way has everyone focusing yeah. on, you know, mm -hmm. money that they're approved all over the nation. Right. That they take money out employees' checks right. to support them. Mm -hmm. Wow. You see wow. what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it's so much behind okay. the scenes to right. it. That that's, so that's my suggestion. Okay. Yeah, wow. If you go to nonprofit, just make sure that, like I said, you're thinking of some for-profit mm -hmm. element okay. that right. will right. help you. That makes sense. It makes a lot more of more self-sustainable. Yeah. Yeah, and, and to have that a sponsor, a like you sense. said, you know, because there are a lot of people who just get non-for-profits. Right. And they struggle to get funding. I have no idea. That's a misconception that this grant money is going to find you and just hunt you down. Your right, <laughs> right. Speak on how hard it is yeah. to, if you have a non-for-profit, to get a, a government grant or to get a grant period I mean, because you're, you're relying on donations, so you have to become a salesperson. Right. A lot of people aren't salesmen or saleswomen. Mm -hmm. um, so then, you know, you, you, you know that the government, the guaranteed grants from the government are guaranteed. And you can get that. But if in this city um, you're getting funded by, uh, there's pockets of people who get funding from the government here in this city. Right. So that's not always an option because if they don't share with you, then, then you know, so speak on that. Well, I mean, the bigger the grants, I mean, they like to see sustainability. Yeah. So you don't really get into these grants that are got some zeros behind it unless you have like five years self-sustainability, mm -hmm. track records, and, uh, you know, your impactability. Everything has to be, you know, painting this picture right. uh, that says that you're worth this 50000 or this $100,000 mm. grant. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be a grant. I mean, a new nonprofit and go somewhere and get a fifty thousand dollar grant. You just right. Not you got to prove your your numbers. Your right track Data. record mm -hmm. has to support that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I'm finding out. I'm getting there. I'm like in my fifth year. I'm gonna be able to, like, you know what I mean at that point. But my experience so far is I've had to be. Uh, extremely self-sustainable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, little <clears throat> grants here, or there. I've I've gotten smaller mm -hmm. ones, but the sizable ones mm -hmm. are are yet to come. And mm -hmm. uh, again, it comes with that track record and you building um, your community-based mm -hmm. uh, presence, if you mm -hmm. will. Right. So that that I'm really focusing on. So, um, like with our transition housing, that's gonna like shoot me. Through the roof, because mm -hmm. that's a service that's much needed. Right. I can kind of like, okay, I know you need this. You need me. Mm -hmm. Where the money at? Yeah. So um, it's all about, like I said, painting that picture of just how um, valuable you are to the community, mm -hmm. because that's what <clears throat> what will get you the bigger, bigger grants. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. speaking of uh, services that are needed, how important is it, is it for us to, to know 
a niche, to know the importance mm. of a niche and how that all works, you know, because um, a lot of us do start businesses that are identical to something else or they're, they haven't found what people actually need right. versus what they, uh, you know, basically, like you said, just having that service that people actually need or want. Or even if it's something that's already out there, making yourself distinguishable so that you actually grab that market share from some, or, you know, yeah, from it's your competition. Like, it's simple as what you just said, finding a need and catering to it, mm -hmm. bam. That's that's primarily yeah. uh, the way you should wrap mm -hmm. any any business quest, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Right. Uh, you don't want to go in an area where there's five beauty shops yeah. all right, right there in a row. Yeah. And that's what we'll do, though. Beauty shop. Yeah. 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 We'll do that. We'll find yeah. some place where there's already five or ten of them and we'll set up shop. Or even even zoning, understanding zoning, right. and putting a business in a place that is not going to receive the business because it's just not a right fit as far as the location. Even understanding that, right. you know, us understanding the importance of that. So, so even understanding that and going um, talking about zoning and mm -hmm. everything, what I suggest is you go to the CDC before you. Uh, Pick okay. a place mm. that you go. That's a good point. Um, mm. yeah. We don't understand. What is the CDC? CDC yes, is the so. Community Development uh, Coalition. Okay. It's, every neighborhood has one. Mm -hmm. um, not everyone, but but in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. I would say ninety percent of all um, neighborhoods have CDCs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, what you want to do is look up the CDC in that area okay. and um, try to get their approval, and they will help you get what you need mm -hmm. uh, in that area. Okay. Because that's what yeah. they're there for. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to, you know, do a Jamaican shop, you know, they'll start promoting you and mm. try to tell the neighborhood about wow. you. I didn't know and, that. And, yeah, they'll help you. And mm. that, that's very important. I sit on uh, four <coughs> CDC boards, uh, mm -hmm. economic development boards. Okay. So it's important. And I do that because I need to know what's going on in, right. in, in the city and right. what's coming down mm -hmm. the pipeline. So Yeah, right. wow. Awesome. Hey, you know what? I want to uh, – uh, get to our uh, viewers. Um, thank y'all, man, for uh, tuning in. You know, we absolutely. Had to, you know, we had to make some uh, changes. Uh, you know, this week. So, uh, please uh, share this on your uh, page. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. One uh, viewer wrote. She has a a, a question. Uh, she says, um, "In order to get a grant, do you also have to apply for a loan first? No. No. Okay. No. Um, you. Let, let's be honest, grants, let's not let's not focus on that because I think we focus too much on grants. Sure, I got you, that, for sure. It, for, non -pro for profits, is you're not going to get a grant. I mean, you can, but, I mean, it's just way too hard, mm -hmm. especially if you're a, a brand-new business. So let's not let's right. not do grants. Loans is what it is mm -hmm. if you need money. And so the chamber has connections with different um, uh, banks mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that we can make sure that, we get people working capital okay. mm -hmm. or, or money to start out. Uh, if you don't have the greatest of um, credit, credit. <laughs> right. we, we also work with people who do unconventional loans. Mm -hmm. It's called flagship. Okay. So we have a connection with them. They give unconventional loans. Um, we also work with BOI. Um, they give uh, small loans to people who want to start. Nice. So let's not work. Let's not focus on grants. <laughs> right. It, if you need money, let's focus. It'll be a loan. Getting a loan. Okay. And if if your credit is bad, I mean, come talk to us. We'll see what we can do. And if we got to <laughs> connect you to someone to help you build your credit, right? Or um, you know, it's you, much easier to get, get that you, built up and get a loan than it yeah. is to mm -hmm. either save or get a grant. Yeah. Now we're we talking about personal credit or business credit. Both. So it will be it'll be personal, personal. credit. It's personal. always personal. it's always okay. personal credit until you have a until, until you establish. Until yeah. Yeah. All right, because <laughs> right. you you have to because there's there's two different types. There's a personal credit and there's right. a business line of credit that mm -hmm. you have to establish as well yeah. as being a business. Yeah. And you have to show a few years of bank. Banking and yeah. building mm -hmm. and spending, yeah. so that they can so they can see that. Yeah. Okay. Because see, that's the kind of stuff that people don't know. Yeah. They don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and and the more I dig deeper into these kind of things, like I was, I I would say about in 2007 is when I went on a journey to like fix my credit, and I've learned more in like this small amount of time, like within the past 10 years, than I have my entire life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my 30s, you know, late 30s, and now I'm really starting to figure out, like, whoa, oh, yeah. why didn't I know all this stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why didn't I know all this stuff in my in my mid to early 20s? Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? This stuff could have been valuable. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What I know mm -hmm. about credit now. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of people out here that at my age that are like, whoa, you know, how did we figure this? How did I, you know, yeah. what nobody tell me about this? Credit karma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and, well, I, and know, I have, it starts I, in the household. I, I have a beef with, with credit karma. Oh, man. You know? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You have to tell me about that. I mean, whether, if you, if, I'll tell you right now, if you, if you go on credit karma uh -huh. and you're paying for it, you might get the right score. If you're not paying for it, oh, man. You're going to get yeah. a score that happened yeah. three three months ago. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. you got to be careful what you think you're getting yeah. from them. You know, sometimes, <laughs> and that's another investment that I think people ought to make is <laughs> is making sure that you watch your credit. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, oh if, you're not, if, if you're not making the investment to watch your credit, that's everything in America. You, that's the whole way to, like, navigate anything yeah. that you need, whether it's a car, rent, house, anything. Yep. If you can't... Like invest in watching that, mm -hmm. or having some kind of credit monitoring service, you're gonna get beat up. Yeah. You, you know they're even doing it with jobs now. Oh, oh yeah. So, so oh, FedEx yeah. won't hire you if you have bad credit mm -hmm. because you wow. have you're a suspect of you might steal. of stealing mm -hmm. your packages. <coughs> wow. Yeah. So credit is is number one, right. and that's the way they keep us as black people out because we don't understand credit. Mm -hmm. Right. And at 2022, oh, we don't even. Uh, we're hard headed. We don't want to listen. You know, right. you, if your parents is telling you, you know, you're like, ah, I don't worry about right. it. Right. But but then when right. you turn 35, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, I'm trying to get so you it, it changes. Absolutely, the game. Yeah. absolutely. You know, another thing that we're missing out on in the, in the credit arena is is that um, a lot of white folks are getting their kids ready at t as teenagers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, putting them on car loans and putting mm -hmm. them on personal loans and building up their credit. They can't use it, but they can help them build it up. Right. So by the time they become 21, that's why the kid is in high school driving a BMW. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Driving the nicest car. You're like, man, they family, their family ain't rich. They just understood what they needed to do credit. for him in order to get that car yep. or to get the, the apartment or whatever. You know, there's a lot of kids that when we was coming up in high school, I'm like, man, their family got to be rich. Mm -hmm. You got a new Cadillac every week. I remember mm -hmm. those you know days. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm riding a bucket. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The bucket didn't make it down the street. <laughs> so, you know, but it's those kind of things that we as adults have yeah. to make sure that our kids are coming up in that. And, and understanding it, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we got into an age now where we just figuring all this stuff out and yep. we could have been set off. Yeah. You know, so credit I mean, is that, important. That's the same way with business, though. Absolutely. You know, we, we don't understand credit. We don't understand business either. Right. You right. know, right. We're, business the same way. The same way. We're, yeah. We, we are learning late in life. Mm -hmm. And so we, we don't have anyone trying to teach us now. And so that's, that's one of the reasons for the chamber. We're trying right. to teach people now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Financial literacy is, is key. Um, I know I've embedded that in my programming because sure. if you think about it, all building credit is is you buy a car, make sure you pay it, pay mm -hmm. it on That's time. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Pay you know, whatever down. you get, just pay it. Pay just it pay on it time. Back. You get <laughs> right. 18, go to college, get you a little credit card. Uh -huh. You know, use it for gas, pay it off Absolutely. every month. By the time you're done with college, you got a 700 credit score. Right. That's a startup business. That's a home mm -hmm. loan. You ready? I mean. You're good. You're ready. You, yeah. you, I so mean, it's just a simple we, we process. Don't, we don't realize how much more money we're spending right. not having decent credit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like interest That's rates. Good point. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're looking at a 36% interest rate versus a 16 <laughs> Over time, that's a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, and the you good thing saying? is, never too late. Like, if you have bad credit, you work on it for about oh, yeah. two years. Yeah, get you some, pay it on time. Mm -hmm. You know Absolutely. what I mean? You know, build it back up. That's the good thing about it. And then you can start, like, really right. making some mm -hmm. major right. moves. You gotta yeah. have good credit. That just speaks yep. to your character. Mm -hmm. I mean, who gonna give you some money and you haven't? Pay. You know what I'm saying? What you right. had you out here trying to get a GoFundMe page, <laughs> right. and you ain't paid your car. You know what I'm saying? You ain't right. paid your car payment. Come on now, we got to get it together. I mean, yeah. it's just simple. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's simple. Common it's logic. Sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is why we have these kind of discussions. Yeah, that's why I'm so glad that you guys are here, because you know we can have business conversations about business all day, but getting that help. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being a part of an organization <laughs> with like minds that are on the same mission. Right. If you don't right. succeed, we don't succeed. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. we have to keep that mentality. That's the only way to win. Yeah, I mean, you know? we, I mean we have to build that yeah. mentality. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. Absolutely. I, mean, I mean, you know, I mean, there's too many crabs in the barrel. Mm -hmm. It really know, is. You know, to be blunt and yeah. honest. 
Here's yeah. it. And, and it's what it comes from the way they bred us. You like you bet in the dark. You, yeah. you know what I mean. You're right. Yeah. That's right. four hundred years of betting something. It I mean, it's ingrained. It so is. So I just hope it doesn't take four hundred years to undo it. Yeah. But right. Yeah. And we talk you know about I mean? uh, generational wealth. I think you know you touched on that earlier. Yeah. What do you think is the number one thing as parents? That if we don't start a business, right, you know, just a hypothetical, what's the number one thing that a parent should invest in if they want to set their kids up for something? So, I mean, that's what we've been talking about is credit. I mean, mm-hmm. credit. That, mm-hmm. I mean, that's, yeah, that's credit, no, yeah. number one. I mean, mm-hmm. even if you're not trying to do a business, if you're just black people in general, we don't understand money. We don't want to talk about money. Right. right. So that that's the issue. Because. We don't, because mm-hmm. we see, we don't so have true. it, so we don't want to talk about it. It's too much thinking it's too yeah. much, involved. And, yeah, and it's too much responsibility yeah. right. involved because yeah. you're responsible for what you're doing. Right. And so that that's our issue. So if if I would say something, is teaching money mm. to our people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because like, we, we just give money to our kids and, you know, they mm. go. Right. And they, that's all they know. But they then, go spend we, it. Yeah. It, and yeah. so then when, they, when, the, when they're on their own, mm-hmm. you know, at college, they – Barely struggling. making it because right. they don't know what what struggling is because yeah. they Rhyme usually get their hand out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so now some they get depressed because right. right. they don't un- they get the, it, it starts being a depression mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in college and that's why a lot of them drop out because they're depressed because they don't know everybody else got money everybody you know why well, I ain't got no money yeah. and right. I, I'm not eating right. you know I'm hungry mm-hmm. you know I mean these are these are real issues that we don't deal with as mm-hmm. as a black community and, and you know what man like I you know. I was, you know, I would say everything that you just said, but also life insurance is very, very important. You know, I mean, I've, I've talked to a lot of white people, man, and they say, hey, you know, my dad had this, you know, this million dollar policy or this five hundred thousand dollar policy. So when he passed, I inherited that. Oh, and definitely. I, and, and I use that with, you know, and I combine that with my business knowledge, and now I have a company. You see mm-hmm. how fast the white mm-hmm. folks get buried? If they be buried in three days, mm-hmm. it take black folks two, three, two we, weeks. Yeah. Right, we got to stop weeks. being because, selfish. You got to raise know. the money. Yeah. And so policies are... are yeah, cheap. you know, life insurance... You know what they're thinking? Because you know what they're thinking? Why, why y'all going to have money and I'm dead? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, a I terrible mean, that, logic. Or, or what? Or, or what? <laughs> terrible or, logic. Or, or, or what? Y'all gonna be me. spending my money while I'm gone. Yeah, you know <laughs> that's the logic. Yeah, but uh, but what kills me, me man, the most <laughs> is is when you see the, you know, and I'm, a, I'm you know I'm not trying to be funny or mean, but I hate when I see you know people make posts and say, hey, you know, there's a GoFundMe, you know my my so cousin's sad. you know dead and, and he or she has like three kids, mm-hmm. but there's no life insurance policy right. in place, you know right. that was ever set in place. But yeah. but but you scroll through the uh, pictures, you know the nails are done, hair's cut, <laughs> Jordan's on, everything, and you couldn't take ten to twenty dollars per month right. to set your kids up for something. That's right. a good where, investment. Where if something happened to you, your kids are taken care of. Yeah. So so there's a guy um, that I that I talked to. He he's from Chicago, mm-hmm. and he said. Um, that his job took a two million dollar policy out on him, mm. and so if he died, the company would get two million dollars. Wow! That's like lost he, wages. He said, "That's how much I'm worth to the company." Mm-hmm. He said, "So how come I don't have insurance on me? How much am I worth to my family?" Right. Mm-hmm. You see wow. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That the company then has taken. Insurance out on you. If you die, they're right. gonna get two million dollars. They're banking on it. They're banking on you dying. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? And they're yeah. gonna get paid for they it. They're gonna get wow. paid for it. <laughs> wow. And and now they they done made a come up with two million dollars because mm-hmm. they took two million dollars out on you. Yeah. And they did that on all their people. Wow. So anytime somebody that died, the <laughs> they whole got company paid. can't quit. What happens My if goodness. they quit though? You know, I mean, let's say if they quit or got yeah. fired. I mean, they nah, still got that policy. No, nah, they're nah, they, mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, cool. yeah, yeah, that cancels it out. <laughs> yeah, that cancels it out. That's too yeah, damn sure. greedy. Yeah. But, but what he was trying to say is the importance of he him to his company that they yeah. took out a policy. Why did not take out a policy for me uh, for right. the importance of my family? Mm-hmm. So just like you said, mm-hmm. life insurance is very important. That is yeah, it is. Absolutely. Very important. Absolutely. You know, credit, was... credit and life insurance. Yeah. Come on, people. Let's yeah. get it together. Not that, but, you know. <laughs> Kind of nurturing them to think uh, about the future. I mean, like, yeah. what are you going to do? I mean, mm-hmm. what are yeah. you going to be? Right. You can't have that conversation 
We have to be supportive of other of, of people who are innovative. Yeah. And I always use this. I'm gonna use the hot dog. Yeah, I know y'all always talk about me <laughs> the using the hot dog stand. stand. If I want to create a hot dog stand, turn the hot and, dog and, stand and, into like a lemonade stand. You can make no, some man, money from we're gonna talk about stands, hot dog stand. Right. Look, if I want to have a hot dog stand, I need support. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some people so, see what we hot do dogs. in the community is like, what? What? He watching car oil? What? He uh, he he selling shoes on his out his trunk. CDs. Look, <clears throat> if if somebody has an entrepreneur spirit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. get behind them. Right. See what you can. You might not be an entrepreneur person, but you can get behind them and help them become that person that they need to be. Yeah. See, we're 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 also scared to get out there because it's people that don't support on the back end. Yeah. Right. You know, um, a lot of people who decide to jump. You know, like Steve Harvey talked about this jump and just getting out there and and doing it because once you do that, then you might become successful. You know, it's it's a it's a good and bad risk to it, but you're gonna fall before you you get to the height yeah. that you need to get to. That's anything. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even if like if like, let's use basketball. If you're a rookie in the league, you're not gonna get in and start shining. You gotta sit on the bench for a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to get worked in. But that third, fourth year, you you coasting. You got it all figured out. You you hitting jumpers. You dunking on people. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's how business is too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's why it yeah. has to be well yeah. thought out. Mm-hmm. That's why we have to get our credit together. Credit makes it better mm-hmm. because you can get a loan, a good interest loan. Mm-hmm. And it, look, I'm not talking about the payday loan. See, people, <laughs> you got to explain this. Now a real loan loan. Right? Yeah. yeah it's I want to talk to you get, about that, too. Because I, Go ahead. There's a difference between getting a payday loan and a personal loan that's helping you build your credit. Payday loans don't help you build your credit. It is a money machine that keeps you coming back mm-hmm. and back sure and back does. and back. And you spend way more money before you even... Get the money that you need. Mm-hmm. You know, a payday loan is a, is a scam to me. Um, you know, but getting a personal loan, it's, it could be $250, $500. Yeah. That's where you can establish your credit line. Pay it back on time. Yeah, absolutely. Can we pay it back on time? Right. Can, can, <laughs> <laughs> it's due on the 15th, it's, not the 18th. It's right. not free money. Pay it on the 10th. I tell you, when I was, when I was right. 18... Right. Yeah. When I was 18 years old, they gave me $250 on a Macy card. I maxed that thing out. Yeah. Same, Same day. day. Same day. And guess day. what, man? I was probably with him. Same. I mean, there's, hey, a, lot stories, there's a lot of stories, man. Boy, I had all kind of ties and pants. I had whatever I could get with that $250. <laughs> Couldn't pay it back. Yeah, I'm it was so. on my credit for a long time. Like, you know, myself, I mean, I'm, I'm so anal when, when it comes to bills. I mean, as soon as the bill hits my house, I, I just pay it. Yeah, I that's how I am. I mean, man. I don't I don't care when it's due. You know, it could be 25 days due. I'm like, hey. Let's Tag got an right 800 now. credit score, y'all. Right, right. <laughs> nah, I wish it was. It'll be there, though. Probably it's by this time next year. 759. Oh, my <laughs> God. I know y'all. 7.99. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something. Once you, once you hit them 700, you're going to know oh, the yeah. difference. Oh, yeah. You know the difference, man. You're going to be mad at the world. They talk to you way differently, man, when you go oh, yeah. in. Oh, yeah. You, you, go from, right. you go from that special special car, car, car used car section yeah. right. Yeah. To you can have anything you want. Right. Which you pick yeah. something. Pick one. Yeah. Which one right. you want, brother? Roll yep. out the red yep. carpet. Yeah, I'm telling you. Take you through that other door. I just bought a car, man. Yeah. I just bought a car, man. And, you take know, you I to was, the secret passageway. Right. I mean, I was telling him. I mean, it was, you know, I mean, this guy, you know, this white thing, guy, man. he came back to the man to the uh, the uh, you know his uh, desk. He was like. Pat, man, you know, can I call you Pat? So he said, hey, man. I'm, can he, I you know, call you Pat? Okay. Slide the paper down. He said, hey, man, uh, I'm just going to be honest with you, buddy. I mean, you can get anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> man, whatever you want, man. He's like, man, that's how it is. He, he said, man, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. He said, man you, man, you really take care of your credit. So, uh, you know, thank you. He said, hey, man, so what do you want, man? What do you want? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, said, man. He's going to get the highest commission. The conversation right? is different. Yeah, I yeah, said, man, yeah. listen, I want this, and this is the type of payment that I'm looking for this many months. And, of course, I don't want to put anything down, but this is what he said. Yeah, you know what, man? I'll be right back, man. He came back. Oh, man, we can do that. I said, hey, can you lower it, man, some more? Oh, yeah, I'll be right back, man. They work with you. He said, I'll tell you what, man. I got you even lower than that. Oh. Mm. So I was like, all right. Here it is. Start on your credit he today. You beautiful. see that? And that's the, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It makes all the difference in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, from a business or a personal perspective, you could save yeah. so much money. Yeah, you, you know, on even Way getting more, a yeah. house. A lot of people have houses and, and I mean, two bedrooms paying 1500 a month. Mm-hmm. That, no Press way bad. you should be paying that. Mm-mm. 
be paying, you know, for a two bedroom, your payment should be about five, six hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's with right. the insurance. Yeah. yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Once you get into the three, four, four house uh bedroom range with a couple of bathrooms, mm -hmm. now you should be paying about seven to eight hundred. Right. People out here paying sixteen, eighteen hundred. <laughs> You know, and that's, and that's all based on your credit. You may have the money and the capital and the job, but if your credit, you still paying yeah. too much money. Right. But in the meantime, if these people are paying that high of a mortgage, refinance after absolutely five, you know, three, you know, yeah. three to five years. But it, you know, so but in the meantime, just work on your credit. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. When Pay it comes, everything on when time. It, when it comes yep. to business, how um what what is the process, right? Like so, and let's be transparent about this. I need a business loan. You know, I've been doing what I've been doing, let's say, for, for a couple of years. You know, I've been built a couple, some capital a little bit. You know, not much. I would say over two years, probably 20 grand mm -hmm. just doing the business I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But I need to take it to the next level. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what what kind of credit score would you need to get a business loan in the range of a hundred to $150,000? How, so, how would that be possible? Mm, so, first off, you got to have 20% to put down. Okay. So mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you you ask for a hundred thousand, you gotta have twenty thousand. Got gotcha. you. You know. Gotcha. So that's something else that we don't know. But does um, it have to be cash? Did that need to be in the yeah. bank? Yeah. That need to be yeah. in, the bank. in the bank. Okay. Right. In the bank. Capital, yep. Straight capital. Straight okay. capital. Straight mm capital. -hmm. Um, I I've worked out some deals where you can have ten percent to get the hundred thousand. Okay. So oh, nice. um, you know, if you got but like that credit seven, gotta be a one. Yeah. Seven twenty. You know. Right. Right. Credit. Absolutely. We, we're looking at seven twenty. So I mean, for sure. If, if you're trying to get a hundred thousand, seven twenty. Seven twenty is a good credit score. Yeah. And there's banks that and lenders that are ready and available to give you that. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, so. Give it to you. Right. Mm -hmm. So so what does that look like from a perspective of someone? Like I said, I probably made twenty grand over, over a couple of years, which is not a lot of money when you first start out for a business. Um, ten percent. So if if I got ten grand in the bank, mm -hmm. and I could show that I I made that with my business, mm -hmm. and my credit score is at least a seven twenty, yeah. I can go get a hundred thousand dollar business loan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, you come with me. I he got you. Going to the that's bank dope. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'll be out here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Some fat credit. <laughs> Shoot, I great credit, man. It's oh, good yeah. too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I watch my credit like a hawk. Anything, yeah, I think if you're anything able to that happens. Sit on twenty thousand. That speaks volumes. Yeah. For sure. Because you got to pay your living expenses. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so that would suggest you. For sure. Are so, so you said you said um, if I made it with my business, you don't have to make it with your business. Right. Um, you know, you can use your four hundred one k. You oh, know, okay. Um, just you know, yep. some, people been on, some people been on their job for twenty years or Absolutely. something. They may have fifty thousand in their oh, nice. in their mm -hmm. bank, yeah. and, and you yeah. can, you can call and say, "Hey, I need a hardship loan or or something like that," and they'll give you the twenty thousand. Um, mm -hmm. You had to pay it back, you know. But right. They give you the twenty thousand to go get the hundred to nice. work on your business and still pay it back while you're at work. So, wow. That's these the are, these are it. other things that yeah. you know we need. There's so many resources out right. there that that people don't know about that they can use that they have at their fingertips. Right. But you know, just never thought of it or, or can, didn't know. Can yeah. people use their house? So I mean, there's another there's another way. That, can, mm -hmm. Do you guys know anything about? Um, I know we're switching over to real estate, but I'm just looking at all the things because there's a lot of people that are looking for ways. <clears throat> they may not have the capital, they may not have the credit, mm -hmm. but let's say say they have a house with equity. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How would they be able to do that? Yeah, you just line of credit. Yeah, you they give you, you a line of credit. Get a line of credit based on your equity, equity in your house. Your equity in the house, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, if we talking about real estate, I mean, right now they do tax sales uh, every quarter. The city does because they have houses and they do auctions where, I mean, you can get a, a lot for as little as four hundred dollars. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, some of these houses are five to twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, they may be boarded up, but right. I mean, it's still a house. Right. And so if you have a buddy, you know, know how to do this. Fix it and that. Up. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, granted, you got to get your license to do these things. You right. Because right. some people going to get and start, you know, the city needs to know if you're changing things mm -hmm. of the Those house. things but, in place. Yeah. So you got to have things in place. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to start out small and you, you know, you get three people together. Come on, man. You mm -hmm. know, let's get a thousand dollars and we go right. and we buy a house. And now we work on it together. You know, right. you, that that's how you start out. You yeah. know, right. everything it. doesn't flip yeah flip it. Everything yeah. doesn't yeah. have to be big. You know, right. start out big. Right. Mm -hmm. And partnering with somebody you know, mm -hmm. somebody you grew up with is better. Right. Because I'm, I'm telling mm -hmm. you, uh, partnering <laughs> is good. You know, but but you but you need to know. 
You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's where most people fall out. They yeah. partner and they really didn't know yeah. somebody. Yeah. Didn't oh, make yeah, sense. I've seen it. But, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but you know, if you, if you do it with your with your crew, right. y'all, yeah. y'all know each other, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and put some money together. Right. And But it all needs to be in writing. Even I don't care if it's family. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it's friends. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I say you got to have Absolutely. a lawyer. Absolutely. You put it in mm-hmm. writing and that that way it's, it's, it's no fallout. Look, right. man, this, oh, is, this is what, what it is. Yeah, right. we're doing business together. Mm-hmm. This is what it is, because mm-hmm. a lot of us just do the handshake, mm-hmm. and then we oh, fall we out. We don't, we don't understand, handshake. like, oh man, yeah. he done yeah. took fifty thousand. Well, I mean, it wasn't in writing, right? And Absolutely. so we don't understand the importance of writing. See, white, white people put everything on paper, right? Yeah. Everything they do, they put in paper. Yeah. Everything, everything ain't is, no argument. Is Everybody yeah. know what's up. It's Everybody, on the paper. Yeah. yeah, it's written, right? And you know, if it ain't written, it ain't it ain't, it ain't right. Yeah, right. yeah, and you, and you like know, the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know exactly, and. You know, it doesn't matter how cool you are. You know, I'll use us as, you know, and, you know, example, we want to do everything legit, you know, in writing, you know, when we create. Everything's on yeah, paper. Yeah, so, you know, everything's on paper. You know, it's not that we don't trust each other. It's right. just, you know, let's treat it like that's, a real that's business. That's how business yeah. is. And, yeah. I, and I'm in documentation all day long. Yeah. You will be amazed what that piece of paper can do for you in business. Mm-hmm. Just having a contractual Absolutely. agreement, having right. an RFP, so having any, having things that will, will 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 move people, will move things, uh-huh. and and sometimes look, we go to people the wrong way. First of all, okay, <laughs> like I was, we were speaking on before that, like some people don't even have. They don't have no PowerPoints, no presentations, no folders, no no nothing. They don't have anything but their verbal voice. Right. You got to realize the people that you're competing with out oh. here. It's oh. people that got a show together. You know what I'm saying? And, and they got somebody to follow up three days after, you yeah. know, to say, hey, thanks for your time. I know we didn't, but thanks for your time. If you ever consider, yeah. right. hit me up. You know, yeah. I'm still available. You'd be amazed how long that goes. Yeah. So we simply need a better presentation. Mm-hmm. We need to give our, have our documentation together, and we need to learn how to compete with other businesses. I'm going to use this as an example. <clears throat> friend of mine, he's a personal trainer. He has a guy that just got out of jail, and uh, this was uh, maybe three years ago. I just got out of jail. He's like, oh, yeah, it's my guy. You know, I'm like, you know, come work with me, man. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Mm-hmm. You know, he and he's been running his business smooth. Now, all of a sudden, you know, when they go and have an event where they, you know, they got to go to the next level. So they want everybody to have on T-shirts and mm-hmm. everybody be cool. This dude, oh, man, I just going to be me, man. You know, I just want <laughs> I just want to do my thing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, we, you know, we we all making money. Why I just can't wear my wife beard? See, it's those Wait. kind of people. Yeah. 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 Wife beater. You oh, no. look. You can't oh, rock wow. as a I'm unit or rock with somebody. Now. Like like that's not me saying. Like man, I, I ain't got to wear no gray area shirt. Yeah. Mm. I want to wear the Ray area shirt. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to get those people from around you, and those people don't last yeah. long because in some ways they envy what you're doing, yeah. and they feel like we're on the same level no i brought you in mm-hmm. as a as a partner to want to help you out and to help us out as a as a business but it's just some people don't have that mentality right. so you have to make sure like you were saying earlier that you're going into business with someone who is beneficial to you yeah. and doesn't have their own agenda too right. many people yeah. have their own agendas they yeah. want to ride the coattail have, to have like-minded people uh you know yeah uh, in your you have like-minded people you yeah. know what i'm yeah. saying that's important yeah. which yeah. leads me to like what we were what we're here about the chamber mm-hmm. like with that example you gave or he gave with buying houses mm-hmm. yeah um, you go to the chamber to strategize where to buy those houses find out oh listen they got you know grant money to fix these houses up in certain areas yeah. that's the kind of information that he would get mm-hmm. Absolutely. so then you're buying a house mm-hmm. and then you can get assistance from you know, grant money to fix it up if it's picked in certain nice. areas. And this is what the chamber <coughs> find, will find out for you. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's big. Like, you have to start it, using our resources. Yeah. And this is yeah. a man, I, hey, I applaud you for for taking taking that hat. Because you know what? It's a responsibility. Yes. Yeah. When you, when yeah. you decide to say, I'm the advocate, we mm-hmm. are the advocate. For black business, that's a big hat to wear. Sure yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when people yeah. sign up, they looking for some. Look, look, look what we gotta do. What's, what's right. next? Yeah. When, when we gonna get this money? You know, what I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Where you know, but when they get in and understand the process, then it makes sense. See, a right. lot of people, um, and, and I've been involved with this. We've done some network marketing, different things. People always think that there's a easy way to. There's no easy way to make money. Yes, you, you chances are anything that you be a part of, you're gonna be making somebody else money before you you make yourself money. Right. You know, so you're gonna have to invest one in yourself, which means you're gonna be 
pay in somebody else's pockets to get together. And then once you get together, then you can start slowly seeing that money creep in. But yeah. getting with an organization like you guys, man, is 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 would be mega. And I commend you guys yeah. for, for having something like this. It's important. It's we very wanna, important. We want to also encourage the uh, non-business owner to become a part of the chamber. Mm, if you, okay. If you think about it, um, I'm like on membership boards. So for me, it's a lot of youthful okay it's a youthful group okay <laughs> wouldn't you say that's awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. We, got, we all have these different uh visions or whatever. Sure. Mm -hmm. so i mean for me um targeting the non-business owner yeah um you can get good feedback in those arenas yeah uh we want non-business owners to patronize our our mm -hmm. come our businesses you sure know? um that's keeping the money in our communities so, right um so it's important for even if you're not a business owner um, or maybe you might think you want to be one in the future at some point. Mm -hmm. You want to be involved with the chamber. Come to our events. Uh, you know, go on our website. Find out who our businesses are. Spend your money with, with those companies because right. we have our best interests at right. heart. And, and when people join, I, you have to be involved. You know, you can't just join and say, all right, where the money sit at? back where the money <laughs> yeah. is. You know, I tell people, yeah. it, 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 it takes to come to our events, to, mm -hmm. to our luncheons, to yeah. our um, after-hour events, to our workshops, to mm -hmm. meet different people. I mean, it's I'm all about networking. You. you know, mm -hmm. it's about who knows you. Yeah. And I've met then, some people, man. I ain't yeah. kidding you. So, so it can connect, and so we can get, get you out there. But if you don't... If you just join and don't get involved and right. don't right. don't don't get yourself out there, it's, it's too hard to to work. You you can't just say, hey, you you didn't give me a contract. Right. Like, you got to get involved. That's why I bring everybody to the table that have contracts to give out to people, so mm -hmm. you can come and meet the buyers. That's what's important. Not just you're just not meeting anybody. Mm -hmm. You're meeting the people who are going to sign the contract. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what I. That's what we. That's what we bring to the table. Right. right. That's just like um, one of our Friday meetings. The the head guy from the 500, the Indy okay. 500. He's like, hey, we got all this money for anyone that's in the media realm. When 500 come, come our way. I mean, wow. You know, we wouldn't know that. He was, right. Crazy. Right. He was yeah. white. Wow. And why it could be? Well, uh, you but just let us know. I know. That's the next I'm time any 500 come around. Yeah. Passing out business cards. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that's, that's what and we that's do. that's the benefit. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the benefit, benefit of, being, of being a part of it. Right. Is, is the connections that we that we have mm -hmm. with everybody, mm -hmm. you know, that we can, you know, get you there. I mean, that's that's the whole point. Well, you got to think it's helping them, too. It's giving them stretches. Uh, absolutely. If we're getting them more exposure or absolutely you know, african-american bringing the african-american community to y'all yeah. like, hey what's up yeah. they yeah. want more money they want yeah, new for money sure. you know what i mean yeah. so he's basically like saying hey yeah the 500 right. said look we we, we got money we have failed <laughs> on getting everybody involved in right. our neighborhood mm. right we don't he said we don't we don't uh market to the neighborhood around right. us right and i said no that's you true don't. i said you need to make true. a way for us to be involved absolutely we, we can walk to mm -hmm. the to the five hundred, you right. know, Hallville and I we can walk right to there. Them. Yeah. Why are you yeah. not uh you know, marketing towards us? Right. And they said, Okay, through the through the black chamber, mm -hmm. we will start focusing on black people. Absolutely. You know, so that Seriously. so that was that's yeah, all you live in that zip code, you right. should have a free ticket. Period. Yeah. They're using yeah. your yard and everything. So, so when the five hundred comes around and the brickyard comes around, we should be having some Sweets and some Absolutely. events out yeah. there. Nice. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what Thanks we're to y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> More perks and benefits, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, leading into, like, this whole membership and trying to bring on an awareness mm -hmm. of what we're about. For it's sure. Just, like, uh, assembling, like, being a part we of. We make become members. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we definitely yeah. become yeah. members. Yeah, we definitely mm -hmm. become yeah. members. So, uh, Got to be well, a part of something great. You yeah. should. Um, so what we want to do is take our businesses and, offer these discounts and perks and benefits so sure. kind of filtering through that possibility mm -hmm. that would be a way of kind of uh targeting non non business for sure. um, owners yeah. to okay yeah I'm a member so I get 20% off when I go to this restaurant or for sure. or, or patronize this you know black yeah. owned That's business really, That's absolutely so we're we're doing you know thinking more mm -hmm. on those lines mm -hmm. it's, it's all about connecting and just um 
building this alliance. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it's, it's, a, it's a big task. Mm-hmm. And we've only been around two years. Yeah, yeah that's what so, I was going to say. So, 2015, right? Yeah. That's yeah. phenomenal. So, so we've only been around wow. two years. So we're we're making moves, but mm-hmm. you know, be patient with us. For sure, you know, we're we're not the big huge oh, organization, sure. uh, yeah. but but we are out here on the streets mm-hmm. trying to make it happen. Absolutely. And so we we really encourage everybody to come and join. Like I said, it's ndy indy bcc dot org. Mm-hmm. You can see all the information that we have, and we nice. we really encourage everybody <clears throat> to come out to our Black Business Summit. That's our, September our biggest 30th. thing. Yeah. September 30th. Eight bucks for two 1st. days. Yeah. yeah. Can't beat it. Yes, eight bucks for two days. So wow. You can, wow. You can go and just uh, patronize black businesses because that, that's the other thing. I mean, a lot of times we do vendoring, you know, and, and we're selling stuff. But, I mean, even then, a lot of us aren't illegal. Taking advantage of that. Yeah. Right. Um, thanks. So, so th- as a black chamber, we're trying to encourage us not just to be – uh, at home businesses, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, mm-hmm. uh, right. you know. But you know, selling soaps and mm-hmm. and and, and uh, candles and everything is is cool. But let us help you go to the next level. Right, but you're Absolutely. not just at home doing it. Right, but we can get you, you know, in Eskenazi to, right. to sit there and sell them soaps. Wow. You know, uh, to the airport. You mm-hmm. know, we can put some candles in there if we do the conversation right. Right. Um, you know, even artists that that paint. You know, I've talked to the. Uh, to the airport, and they said, "Well, we need some black painters, mm-hmm. you know, uh, black oh, wow. portraits up." Right. You know, in it with them, I'm so, you. so <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, these are the things that are important, and you know, I'm I'm just saying, if you yeah. come join and be a part, we can grow, and there's a Absolutely. lot of things that we can That's do. Excellent. That's big. Go on the website and just take a look at the stuff that we did uh, just this year alone. Mm-hmm. Right. That's going to impress you, and if that's you know feeding into any of your thoughts or desires just go ahead mm. and bring bring your tools we yeah, need sure. that too bring sure. your, bring your mindset bring your skill set and ability yeah, and, sure. and add it on to something else yeah. i mean you got to think you got a toolbox you might be a hammer i might be that's a right right, right. You that's know, the problem there's too many hammers too, too. you got to be a nail sometimes yeah yeah. Be, a nail. Yeah, be a nail. Be a nail. Yeah. So, so look at our Facebook. I mean, it, it yeah. shows a lot of things that we've done. I mean, we we've been very busy the last oh, two yeah. years, and mm-hmm. I mean, we've we've made some things happen. We've gotten people contracts. We've got people jobs. That's nice. Awesome. I mean, th- that's what we're here for. And nice, I mean, man. we just ask for support. You know, for sure. For people to come out and support. Hey, Amen. Big time. We got y'all. Right. Yeah. yeah. We got appreciate y'all. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us, I appreciate it. Hey, it's no problem. Yeah. It's no for being problem. Here. Yeah, it's been yeah. Fun. yeah. We got to do it's this. About business. Yeah. So we got to do this again. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, and it's important that we continue to engage people. People think yeah. it's just a right. conversation one time and needs to happen. No, we need to continuously mm-hmm. yeah. pump this in people's heads. Yeah. Like, look, the resources are there. Right. Holla at us. You know. Yeah. I mean, like, look, we didn't go to school for this. You know, we just decided that we needed a media company because there's nobody representing us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And usually you have to pay to get on TV or do something, and it's not enough time to really connect with people. Right. So we have to be our own advocates mm-hmm. and then yeah. get with like-minded individuals, like an advocate company like you guys are doing, mm-hmm. and uh, and so we can expand even further. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know, our hopes is, is that we reach as many people as possible. All day. You know, and it's yeah. our individual duties to, to do that. You know right. what I'm saying? Whether you're... Uh, you know, uh, a millionaire or not, you know, mm-hmm. it's your individual duty to try and connect with people and help other people. That's what right. we was put on this earth for, mm-hmm. absolutely, to help other people. You know, yes, and and that's where we get satisfaction and gratification. Mm-hmm. Right. It's an amazing platform, and uh, I mean, I Appreciate definitely that. support it and posted and everything. Thank you. You do. You do. <laughs> From day one. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate that a lot. I think it's a... Yeah. You brought us Larry? Yeah. Larry's in the building. <laughs> right. Larry she Love. Been, you know? She's been Larry's trying to get me building. here. You know what's Larry crazy love. is that, is that you, you, you'd be amazed how connected we all are to different people. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and you were the first one that mentioned him, but I had also had like six other people mention you. Mm-hmm. So you, I mean, you was destined to be in here at some point in time. Right. These people vouching for you. Oh, yeah. He's connected. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen and met some real it's heavy hitters to, sure. in, that wouldn't, you know, they, I wouldn't have any other way of meeting them or for coming sure. into contact with them. So we, the chamber, I mean, it's a, it's a force to be reckoned with. I mean, they have to talk to him. Mm-hmm. For sure. <laughs> how, how are you guys aligned with the, uh, the, uh, the black caucus? Like the, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. I, I have a relationship with with the Black Caucus. Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, I have to, um, you mm-hmm. know, to th- 
black businesses can't move without uh, any kind of legislation. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have to have a relationship. Um, there, there's some words, there's some uh, writing that we need to put For sure. together. For sure. Uh, but again, we've been around two years. But mm -hmm. there, there is some, some things we need to put in legislation okay. to make sure black businesses move. Right. Uh, cause, because mm -hmm. Chicago and Atlanta have penalties mm -hmm. if you don't meet the goal. Mm. Uh, that you said you so if it's 15 percent of uh let's say 100 million so you've right. got to spend 15 million right with black uh business mm. and if you don't <coughs> if you only spend two then you got to pay back 13 oh, million wow. oh. and see they don't want to do that they'll find you wow. then they'll, yeah they'll find you. <laughs> so Whoa. that's that's something i'm putting in the works For sure. again it may take a year but i mean the but not just Keep the black balanced. yeah but not just the black caucus i mean i Try to talk to all the state reps. Yeah, yeah, Repu absolutely. Republican, uh -huh. Democrat, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because I need to focus to make sure that black businesses move. Absolutely, and we have to. We have yeah. to. We have to come across the, the, the aisle and talk with, have different conversations. We can't black. We we have no we have no position in blackballing nobody when it comes to business <laughs> because right. we don't have any power. Right. So we have to understand why. how to get ourselves in there. Mm -hmm. And this is the last question I want to ask you. I'm gonna play devil's advocate with with our government. Um, the way Trump is positioned and as as big in business as he is, is this the time to get into business for for for, for, for black people? Yeah, absolutely. I, absolutely. Any time it is. Any time. No, 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 no. Ever more than right. now because you have a person in office that is solely focused on <laughs> making businesses grow. And, I mean, I'm, that was accurate. Um, you know, Mike is from here, you know, right. so... Mike Pence. My, yeah, Mike okay. Pence is from here. So vice president is from Indiana. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make sure Indiana is getting things. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's sending money to Indiana on the low behind mm -hmm. scenes that, that we may not know about. Right. But him, uh, Eric Holcomb, was, is the governor now, but he was his, his uh, lieutenant governor. Right. So they still have a relationship. Right. And so they're still working on global, uh, on the low. Indiana is working on a global network here for Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, they're doing something called 16 Tech. It's over there mm -hmm. off of 16th and um, Indiana Avenue, mm -hmm. over there by okay. IUPUI, mm -hmm. yeah. Bush Stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the Midwest um, uh, Silicon Valley. There's a Silicon mm -hmm. Valley in San Francisco right. where Twitter and Facebook yeah, is there. Yeah. Right. So they're bringing a Midwest Silicon Valley oh, here. It's called 16 Tech. Mm-hmm. And it will be right there on 16th and Indiana Avenue. Wow. wow. How many That's how of you us? got that That's information, major. Indy Black Chamber. <laughs> Absolutely. Larry Williams. Exclusive. Wow. That's, yeah. That's yeah. major. So, so they're, they're bringing in, that's why Salesforce is here. Right. Salesforce right. came from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So they're working on making this the global the hub. hub of Midwest. It's the crossroads. crossroads. It makes sense. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm saying. That there's things that are going on in the background mm -hmm. from, from the president. Yeah. From that administration. That, the, yeah. From that administration mm -hmm. that we need to be involved Taking advantage in. of. And, and so, we need to be more educated on that right, too. Right, right. And so, so that's Jesus. the reason why I go to these tables yeah, for sure. and, and bring it comes. back to us so that we know what's going on. Absolutely. And, and as the mm -hmm. black chamber... They have to let me, they don't have to, but right. when yeah. I when I send in, they, they allow me to come and right. sit at the table. Right. right. That's, That's so awesome. important to get involved. So it's necessary. Involved that is very necessary, yeah. man. We commend you for what you do, what y'all yes. do yeah. in regards to uh, black business. Like, just for real. I don't learn a whole bunch just in this past five minutes. Right. You're just talking to us <laughs> right. about the things. Because the, 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 the hard truth is that we can't change people's minds in certain leadership roles. Yeah. But we can take advantage of the opportunities that are available right. to us every single day. Right. And 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 black folks need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's taking advantage of school oh. or educate or your education, uh grants, uh, you know, uh loans, mm -hmm. whatever it is, we gotta get in the game. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough skin in the game. Mm -hmm. We gotta start buying land, buy buying business businesses, yep. building businesses, yep. working with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean I love Latino people, but I mean they got the whole West Side on lock. Got on lock, sir. Everything from from uh, from 30th Street to to Lafayette is is I mean man, I mean they they buying it up. Yes, they they they're working together. You know the Asians still got the hair stores and stuff. we got we got to pick it up. And shout out to the yeah. the, the black owned beauty uh, business over there on uh, 56 in Georgetown. Yep. Uh, I think it's her name is Sierra. Sierra. 
Sierra. She has a is is that it, diamond hair. No, it's a uh, precision or or what beauty is it? Beauty supply place. Yeah, Damn. it's a beauty <coughs> supply. So no, so let me. I know, no, I know we, we sure sure up, sure sure. But right. um, one of the reasons why we don't own black uh, beauty supplies because everybody always asks mm-hmm. is because the Asians get together and they mm-hmm. buy in bulk. Right. Yeah. And so they buy in bulk. Oh. And when they buy in bulk, and then let, let's say um, Ebony says, okay, I want, I want to buy something. Mm-hmm. The agents say, no, don't sell it to her or we're not going to buy from you. Oh, And wow. so then they tell you, hey, we ain't selling to you because they buying in bulk. I mean, they, mm-hmm. they, right. they're buying Absolutely. huge million dollars. Right. You talking about a thousand. They, they put their money, they money together in the pot. Oh, yeah, and we wow. don't we don't do that. Right. And so that's how they have the beauty supply right. on lock. Right. So shout out to her on Fifty Sixth Street yeah. for sure. doing her doing her thing because they it. are trying yeah, to make sure that we we don't get in the game. Absolutely. And for her to be in it, hey, I commend mm-hmm. her. Absolutely, and it's tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already know it's tough. You competing with a lot of uh, people who have established and got the products right. that you're trying mm-hmm. to get in your mm-hmm. store. So. Uh, again, yeah, man, you we know, definitely shout out to her. Uh, need to bring her on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've reached out to her. If anybody yeah. know her out there, yeah, I think her name is Sierra. Um, reach out oh, to her. We'd like to get her on here. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, and I mean that's a big deal. You know, there's someone in uh, in uh, L.A. who uh, has the first grocery store, like a black a black woman who owns a really? a huge yeah a huge yeah, it's, in, uh, it's South as big as Walmart. I mean, and it's a huge grocery store. So, but we need stuff like that. Yeah. You know, we need to. I mean. We don't know what's good for our own communities. We buy things that come to our community. Yeah. We buy we buy liquor. We buy you know, not, not knocking the churches, but we got the church, the liquor, and and the hair store. Uh, yeah. Funeral mm-hmm. homes and, and, and funeral homes. You can count on them yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we have to start building in our areas and uh, establishing ourselves, man. Getting our stuff together. And, and mm-hmm. again, we applaud you for uh for, for 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 building that up for us and becoming an advocate. Because, you know, with them leaving, what was it, 2015, where the other one went out? 2008. 2008. Mm-hmm. And you came in and said, look, we, this is necessary. Yeah. Nobody's mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah. Right. Nobody's doing I mean, like, seriously, <laughs> that's big. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we have no advocates outside. Like, you could quit today. It, it'd be over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who, who's who's <laughs> right. talking for us? So we have to get behind you and, and do what you do. And as far as memberships, you have different levels of memberships. And, and how does that tie into... Um, you know, people's businesses, small business, corporate, you know, how, how does that work? Becoming a member. It's like, um, I think it's a, you can be, it's nonprofit. And then if you're a business owner and then if you're an individual. Okay. So, so, so individual is a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, small business is $200 and that's for a full year. Okay. Um, bigger companies like, um, a bank or something is $500. Okay. And then we have corporate sponsorship where it's a thousand. Gotcha. Five thousand, ten thousand. Got gotcha. you. And this is a yeah, annual, like a annual, annual fee. So once you become a member, you'll be looking at that. You know, so we you said small businesses, two hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so we're looking at two hundred a month, two hundred a year. A year. Okay. Yeah. Nah, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I ain't want to. Scared. Because <laughs> people scared out there like, nah, I'm cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm still trying to uh, get these yeah. Jordans. Yeah. I, ain't, I, ain't. I mean, that's you know, that's that's what, real. Twenty dollars a month. Pretty much, it's nothing. Right. Yeah, that's nothing. I it's mean, nothing. that's a good investment to be with like-minded individuals that help you as a business mm-hmm. owner. Yeah, and you right. can do it online. If you do it on our website, you can go to membership and sign up and okay. pay online, and and everything's to it. Awesome, awesome. So yeah. awesome. We, we definitely come out doing to that. our events, the the Black Business Summit. We got the uh, masquerade ball in October, so we're known for having nice. the, the, some pretty the extravagant nice events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Get fixed up and come on out there. Okay. <laughs> and what place is it at again? The, uh, the Business Summit. On the 30th. The Business Summit. The Business Summit is September 30th. It's, it's yeah, September is 30th, it? October 1st at the fairgrounds. At the fairgrounds. Mm-hmm. And then okay. we're having a masquerade um, a costume party mm-hmm. at uh, the Jewel mm-hmm. Center October 20th. Okay. I was okay. a Black Chamber member. Yes. Okay. We keep it in the family. The Jewel Center. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what's up. And what we want to do is uh, do a uh, closing closing statements and you just telling talking to the users the viewers and the people who have been tuning in just tell them who you are where they can reach you and you know and just any close positive it up. Message yeah the any positive you message have, yeah. you can give um yeah larry williams jr um please look at us on uh indy indy dot org follow us on uh facebook all you have to do is type in indy black chamber it'll come up 
And just please come out, be a member, support <clears throat> us, because we support black people. Mm -hmm. And if uh, we all support each other, I mean, the, the black community will grow. Absolutely. Thank you. Demetrius. Again, it's an open welcome for you guys to come out to the Black Business Summit. We do still have room for uh, <clears throat> vendors, of course. Okay. Um, so if you're interested, a vendor out there, we are uh, giving two-day specials, and we need you desperately on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go to I... I-N-D-Y-B-C-C dot org. Yeah, it's actually um, <laughs> black. <laughs> yeah, you can go to that website. I-N-D-Y-B-C-C dot org. <laughs> it's actually a different one. It's a different but, Gmail, but, actually. I'm but, about to give it to you correctly. It's uh, uh it's Indy, um, B B C mm -hmm. 2017 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. There it oh, is. There we go. There NDBCC yeah. 2017 at gmail.com. At gmail.com. There if it you is. You want to vend? We want to hear from you. All okay. right, vendors, let's go. Right. Ebony. Um, thank you guys. Um, I've learned a lot, and um, I'm really excited because there's just a lot of things that you guys have actually inspired me to get my wheels turning on a lot of things. And, uh oh. Here we um, go. Good. Well, things I've already Good. been working on. So, mm -hmm. um, and I say this all the time, like this show is just, it's helpful for us in mm -hmm. so many different Absolutely. ways. And that's what it's for. Um, and then uh, there was another thing I was going to say too. Um, as far as just getting the word out and everything, um, I'm going to do everything. Because 2015, I thought that was phenomenal. I thought you guys had been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And you've done a lot of leg, leg work already. So I truly believe that it's up to us our viewers, everybody to just get the word out. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find you on Facebook. I already Appreciate have your yeah, um, cool. web yeah. address. And just keep promoting and promoting and supporting. Because like you said, you have 70. But if you have 1,000, mm -hmm. yeah. there's so much more that you guys can oh, yeah. do. So For sure. I got you back. That we I can do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that yeah. we can do. Yes, yes. That we there can it do. is. Mm -hmm. P. Wills. Hey, thank y'all, man, for coming again. Thank you. Uh, shared a whole lot of great information. I learned a lot, like, what uh, EB just said. Uh, shout out to all the viewers. Uh, please, please share this on your page. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of very important, you know, uh, information that was shared. Um, you know, I'll just say, you know, that we have to get more educated yeah. on credit, on finances. Yes, definitely. Um, Insurance. Invest in your passions. Mm -hmm. You know, do not be, stop being afraid to invest in whatever you're passionate about. Uh, get with like-minded people. Get more educated. And just go for it, man. You know, I yeah. mean, just be strategic in starting your business. I encourage all black people to start some type of business, yeah. period. Uh, you know, that way, you know, you can learn and then you can grow it and pass something down. And then maybe your kids would, you know, you know, take that baton and go go even better, you know, oh, yeah. farther. So, um, but yeah, you know, just get connected with people, learn, and, and just get better. You know, just start a business. Period. Big time. Um, and t to bounce off of that, we have to use, as as black folks, we have to use forward thinking. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can't think uh, for right now. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot that happened in our past, uh, you know, for, as this nation, for this country, for black folks, where we were kind of crippled in regards to moving forward. But now is the time to take advantage and sacrifice <clears throat> yourself mm -hmm. and, your, your, you know, to, to get something started in regards to business. Mm -hmm. Because 25 years from now, you know, and, like, I, I see companies that, like, it's a company I'm, I'm working for, and they've been around for only 25 years. I think about, what was I doing 25 years ago? <laughs> right. And they're a million-dollar company, like, making millions and millions of dollars right now. And it's, like, it's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to give your company time. It, whether it's 10, 20, 25, 25 years, you could be looking at yourself like, man, I'm glad I started then. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it may it may be frustrating in the beginning, but you're going to get there. So just stick with it. Get with the organization Absolutely. like uh, NDBCC.org, mm -hmm. uh, the Indy Black Chamber of Commerce, uh, President Larry Williams, Jr., and uh, board member Demetrius Bruno. Yeah. We have a uh, guest right here you can connect with right, right. now. Uh, share this video. Go back and watch it again and share it with those who are involved in business. We have to start working together to build this That's out. Right. We just Indeed. we just have to um, in order to grow as a, as a nation, as a people. So yeah. um, we thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to the viewers for always, uh, you know, uh, loving us and sharing our feeds. Mm -hmm. uh, please, please, please 
If you haven't already, go to the Gray Area Media like page and like that page. There's a page that we had to put our name on. It's called Ray Embry. It was the old Gray Area, <laughs> the Gray Area page. I don't, I don't know <laughs> who, who that, that is. Guy? <laughs> this strange name just showed up on my timeline. Um, but please go to that Ray Embry page uh, um, and 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 don't worry about it. <laughs> it is the old Gray Area page, so you'll get to see our old videos and all those things. But go to the Gray Area Media like page mm-hmm. and like that page because that's where we'll be streaming from from now on. We appreciate you all tuning in and, and uh, sharing our feeds. Thank yeah. you. We'll see Thank you next you. time. Thank you. Peace. Take care. Created by longtime friends for the sole purpose of providing our communities with the ability to voice current, past, and modern day issues. The gray area and its naming significance solely speaks to the area in which people shy away from speaking because of media based constraints or contractual based obligations. Well, I'm here to tell you, we don't do that here. So please stay tuned in. We're going to go live in a few minutes. Don't forget, please add us as a friend on Facebook so that you can follow our live feed. And not only that, please add us on Twitter and Instagram at The Gray Area Media. Please visit our website at www.thegrayareamedialive.com. Thank you. ourselves to be the voice for all communities speaking on topics that include community, religion, education, politics, technology, sports, health, and wellness. The Gray Area Media is a platform created by longtime friends for the sole purpose of providing our communities with the ability to voice current, past, and modern day issues. The Gray Area and its naming significance solely speaks to the area in which people shy away from speaking because of media-based constraints or contractual-based obligations. Well, I'm here to tell you, we don't do that here. So please, stay tuned in. We're going to go live in a few minutes. Don't forget, please add us as a friend on Facebook so that you can follow our live feed. And not only that, please add us on Twitter and Instagram at The Gray Area Media. Please visit our website at www.thegrayareamedialive.com. Thank you.